you need to give up. You can't go with Christ with so many things. Now, in this issue, I'm sharing with you today because many of us have a load and things that is heavy for us. We need to drop so many things in order that we can go faster, in order that we can be with ourselves. Many of us things control us. So many things that controls us. But one thing I want you to understand is when you are killing a blue or you are taking a burden, the burden is always controls your imagination, controls your thoughts, and that controls all your way of life. But today I'm going to share with you that you need to work with God alone. The first thing I want to share with you, for many us of up control by different things with different sources, but I want to tell you, my brethren, we have to understand the will of God and the promise of God. Our decision should not be, should not be, because um, we have something, no, it should be because of Christ. I'm encouraging all those that will come on board today. Help me to share this message. And let's do best as we can. And let's drop everything aside. It's very, very important. So whosoever that go before God, we receive this commandment. So when Moses appeared to God, he said, drop up something. You need to exercise obedience before God. The one thing I want us to understand is, without exercising obedience into our life, my brother, we will take it hard. But I'm encouraging brethren and sisters that whatever you are, whatever you are doing, you need to exercise obedience by drop whatever that consider as a load, as a burden upon you. You can't go with God with burden, and you can't go with God. You need to walk with God alone. If there is someone or something else is wrong, and it doesn't bring achievement. Stephen, God bless you. My master, God bless you. Joshua, bienvenido. Mama, Hega, Prophet, Hega, God bless you. Nana, Sewa, Prima, God bless all of you. Women of God that they support, please help me to share this and invite the people to join the program. The reason why I'm always saying this, we, we are, we ought to promote the gospel. And the promoting the gospel is to share uh, only to you, God bless you. You are welcome, man of God. We need to share the message. It is because most of our times we don't take salvation when as so important. Everybody is seeking a prayer. We will be promised of blessings and we will be promised of many prophecies. But always, I used to say, prophecy doesn't work when, I mean, the God, the favor of God is not there. If the favor of God is not there, prophecy will not work. It doesn't matter how and it doesn't matter what you do. But the best thing is to stand firm, to stand firm. If you are working with God rightly, with Him all things are possible. But many of us, we, we always put all our, our, our burdens on our shoulder and trying to carry God at one side, what doesn't help us. Our friend Kusi, Mr. Mr. Apia, God bless all of you. Please, you are all welcome in the name of the Lord. Help me to share the program. I'm trying to tell you something that is very, very important because we always blame people whose 
living on their own way. But the fact is, we need to go according to the principles of God. One thing today I want to tell you is, CK Junior, God bless you. You are welcome. Please, all of you help me to share the program and invite the people as well as we can. And let's try our best as we can. Now, what am I trying to do? How am I trying to say? Christians are, are let me say, are beggars. We, we, we are just like um, political asylum. We seek asylum in God. We didn't go to God, and God do not need people that will always seek asylum or people that will always come for beg. There is difference between intimate friend and a, a beggar friend. So tonight, I want us to understand this thing first. Thing. God needs a friend. But we say, in love, walk with God. You walk with God. And so, are you working with God or because of what you need is why you are crying to God? It's not the interest of God that we every day cry to Him. The interest of God is to hope of working with walking with him. There is difference between worshiping God and personal relationship with God. You worship him as your God. And then you relate with him, you walk with him. Abraham walked with God. Abraham walked with God. We need to walk with God day and night and every moment. So brethren, what I'm trying to tell you is this. We need to do all our best as we can. And my brethren, we, we, we stand firm unto his glory. Here is the reason why I want you to understand this. Imagine you have two friends, and one of them every day knocking your door and asking something daily. Every day asking something, knocking your door. And there is a friend that comes also to you. And always, I mean, share idea with you, talk with you. You know, praying together and you know, chat up together. Which one would be a best person to you? Here is where I want all of us to contribute by sharing this idea today. And then we take lesson out of it because many of us, we are not working with God. We are just, I mean, seeking every day. And that doesn't help us. We need to work with God. We need to learn to work with God means be a uh, religious fundamental or taking God as your God you are working with. Those who worship idols, they always carry their idols with them and they believe and they trust and they have that hope that they are working, they are working with their idols. And so if you have God that is great, what do you have to do? You must believe. Bible says, if someone comes to God, he must believe God is spirit and he, he exists. So you are God is also a spirit. You must learn to walk with God. Well, how do someone walk with God? You have to understand the Holy Spirit. If you don't have Holy Ghost baptism, and you pray that may God help you and may God open your spiritual understanding and may God open your eyes to see the Holy Spirit and understand the Holy Spirit and walk with the Holy Spirit. That is why Apostle Paul said, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened. Another verse said, may be opened so that you might be able to understand the Holy Spirit. You might be able to walk with God. Walking with God is most important. It's so, it's so beautiful. It's so nice. So here is where I'm calling your attention that you need to walk with God and we walk with God by his principles. Do we relate with God? How do you walk with God? Do you have personal relationship with God? By how? By praying and asking him every day something or by praying and giving him glory. Hoping of everything of your life is by him. By him you go, by him you come, by him you sleep, by him you wake up, by him you do everything. For his sake you do everything. When I say you do something for someone's sake, means considering that person. name. Hallelujah. Now to walk with God, and here is when um, Francis, God bless you. God bless you, man of God, you are welcome. Let's look at something that is... The book of Exodus chapter 1, 
chapter 32. The book of Ezra, chapter 32, 1 to 4. Let's take lessons out of uh, this ones and when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mountain the people gathered themselves together into Aaron and said unto him uh, up make us God which shall go before us for us for this Moses the man that brought us out of up out of the land of Egypt we won't know what is be, uh, become of him now let's look at the, the point here now, Moses was working with God while the people of Israel was following Moses. And so when they did not find the Moses or wait for a bit, they said, okay, make God for us so that we work with that God. Why did why not them determine to work with God? That was the painful heart because God have come and used him to deliver you. But now you are not working with God. You are working, you are, you are following Moses, which was not the intention or the, 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 the purpose of God to show himself strong in the land of Egypt, to deliver you by his mighty hand. I, I, I thought God might, might, might believe that these people will see the great hand of God and have confidence in him and work with him. But no, they rather... Just believe God is, and that is all. And here is where so many Christians are. Here is the problem that we have in our Christian life because we just believe we are Christian. That is all. We don't have any intimate, I mean, we don't have any relationship. We believe prophets have God. We believe pastors have God. We believe evangelists have God. No, you need to have your personal relationship with God by means of believing in him and accepting him and know that he is with you. He is with you. He is with you. He knows you. You must know God. Prophet, welcome. Warten, please welcome. You are all welcome. All those who are on board, please. You are all welcome in Jesus' mighty name. But the case is here uh, is the, the most problem because everybody is talking about the prophets. The prophets. It is because many of us, we, 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 we don't show up at the side of God. All what we do is we just show up uh, to the prophet we show up i'm not saying it's wrong but we need to show up to god let god know how you trust in him and take god as you are working with him but many of us we are not working with god we are not working with god we are just a christians which is very which is totally wrong that was not the purpose of christ coming the purpose of christ coming is to make you know him is to is to create the, 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 the strong relationship with him is to make us to know he is with us and we, we are to walk with him. And so the people of Israel did not acknowledge him working with God. They acknowledge him Moses working with God. So if Moses is gone, let's find our own God and walk with him. Here is where many people say, ah, I stopped that church because many people go out from the church because it's pastor, because of prophet, because of that. If you, if you, if you, if you relate with God, you will not show up when man did something wrong or when man do something wrong. You will not blame God and you will not go out from God. Give to God bless you. Asante, God bless all of you. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord. Today, I'm trying to tell you that you don't need to be just a Christian. What you ought to do is to have a relationship with God for God needs you and God knows you. We are, we are just a lost ghost on the side of God because we are just a Christian. And here is where every storm of doctrine can carry us off because many people, when we hear anything about anybody at all, it is because we are not working with God. We just follow up people's decision and go away from churches and go away from ministers and go away from our own way of life. And we always by sliding. And we, I mean... We, 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 we fall in victims. Uh, let me put it in straightforward that most Christians are victims in their religion because if you are Christian and you don't have relationship with God, you don't know Holy Spirit, you don't have any means to communicate with God direct, direct, then uh, what make you a Christian? You need to arise this year and then you need to stand firm and you need to walk with God because the people of Israel was following Moses instead of walking with God. They would rather follow Moses. They were not people of Israel. They were just 
I mean, people that just walking like that. And so they say, Moses, make us God. Let's walk with him. And here is where many people fall in victim of religion because when we hear anybody at all, we follow him. When we hear any da, any divine, any, let him say, any unnecessary argue, we just wake up and go wherever we want to go. Let's relate with God. Let's walk with God. There is between difference between relationship with God and worshiping God. Yeah, he is your God, you worship him. But you need to have relationship with God. If you don't have intimate relationship with God, your salvation is not sure because every kind of doctrine can sweep you away or can, I mean, drag you out. William, uh, be the command of God, you are welcome to the program. Help me to share and invite the people also as we do each year. I'm telling you, my brethren, here is where Christianity is always, I mean, falling into so many problems daily and daily and people are losing their, their their strength and their confidence in God because we just believe in prophet. We 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 we, we, re, we rather relate with man of God instead of God. I'm not saying it's not good you you we are human beings. We need to God have reason why he make some apostles, some prophets, some that and that and that and that. He said for edification of the ministry. But I'm talking of your personal relationship with God, your personal faith with God, your personal movement working with God. That is the most important. It's the most important. Do we have personal relationship with God? Are you just a Christian walking or you are, you are somebody that, I mean, relate with God, communicate with God? Abraham did not prophesy anywhere. He was walking with God. He was walking with God. Man of God, Noah, welcome. Welcome, man of God. Please, we need to take a decision from today onwards. And we need to decide to walk with God by having personal relationship, intimate relationship with God, or else we will always fall in victims. We need to change our way of life because the people of Israel was just following Moses. If we say, Moses is not Moses, he Moses not Moses. One of Moses Benant, and you said only Israel men in our Benant, and she drew baby a woman Moses was you. Moses didn't have me at your baby, Mummy and Pin at Bosunbi, Nian and Nante. I didn't tell a woman preser, and a mummy and shepherd and the first one. You need a man Benant, if you say only Moses Nante, you know, let you who are Bassa, a more than Tian Pet, your man, Quinanke and Nante. One preser, the more per se, only Moses Baden, the corn baby. Na on the Susa Fauna Bosom. Mama Yanshu said, Yin Yan Kupon, the Chi, near Nyame, in Yayon Kofa, and Yami, he had done forty so. I want an independent. God need a friend like you. In the Garden of Eden, God was sitting down, say, Why not go to my friend? And he go to his friends. God go to um, what we call Abraham and say, Abraham, no, you are my friend. Since you are my friend, I will not hide things from you. Why God go to go to Abraham? Did he go and take permission from Abraham? No, it was because he is his friend. Imagine maybe you have come to Barcelona and you say, "Let me my prophet Atta just say hello to him." No, it's a friendship. Is that does not mean I give you a visa or you are coming to take a, a, a load from me? But rather, you just want to say hello, prophet. How are you? I, I, I just want to say hello to you. Maybe I've come to. U.S. or U.K. or or German or whatever, uh, my my brethren, we are uh, we, we find ourselves on board and say, ah, let me find M M M Mr. Noah, man of God. Let me find Mama Hagar. Ah, I have to meet Mr. Bismarck. You are awake. I have to meet Mr. Bigman. Asante is there. Let me go to you. No, let me see Gifty. Oh, Mr. Bo Prophet Bart is here. Let you know. It, it make you feel happy, even though. You are not going to give me anything, neither I take anything from you. But immediately you find out that ha, somebody has just come from somewhere and he just wants to say hello to me. You know, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel happy. It makes you feel, let me say, proud of that person. Hallelujah. And here is where I want you to take such a lesson of so that we'll be able to walk in with God. So, for mommy, God bless you, wherever you are. So, my brethren, wherever you are, 
I'm encouraging everyone to please help me to share mercy because it's very, very important. Let's continue from that is the Matthew, that is Exodus 32 there. And verse 2 said, And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earring which are in the ear of your wife, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them into me. And all the people break off the um, golden earring which were in their ear and brought them unto Aaron, and he received them at their hand and functioned it with a groove to after he had made it a uh, mountain cave. And they said, This be the gods of Israel, O, o Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And so the Bible said, when when the 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 the, the out Moses is not so close to them, instead of them to sit down, there are there were prophets among them, there were ministers among them. They never even consult them, neither think how to work with God. They rather attack Aaron and say, You you have to make us a God. Why did he not ask him to go and take some part of wood or some any kind of, I mean, uh, soil and make some sculpture pieces? And but they rather look at the precious things that they have. Anita, God bless you. You are welcome. Whatever you are, you are all welcome. Please help me to share the program and invite the people. For salvation message is most important than than than, than the prophecy. We receive prophecy and receive, and it mostly it doesn't work for us. It is because the quality standard of our soul is not accurate with God. And God does not uh, approve inaccurate uh, blessings. He, he approves accurate blessings. And I want this year, your blessings be and the blessings of accurate. Because Bible says he gives. The gift that God gives, he gives and added no soul. And every perfect and good thing comes from above. And so I want to tell you that this year is a year of productive, it's a year of sources. But if you didn't take care, you may lose your blessings and you may lose your salvation. Now, people of Israel take the precious things. What are the precious things that will lead you away? Many people lost their Christian grants when achievements begins in their life. Ah, I started work. There are some people when you are worshiping with them. They don't have program at all. They come in time and every time they are there. But when they start work, they will tell you that ah, because I you know throughout the week I go I, I work from Monday to to Friday and Saturday. Also, even I went for extra. And because of that, you break your relationship with God. Sunday you didn't go to church. Somebody come from work by say Saturday night by say twelve o'clock, and then next day morning ten o'clock you can't go. Meanwhile, you you came from work. You, you, you came from work man, uh, Tuesday, 12 o'clock, and another 5 o'clock in the morning, you wake up and go to work. But even sleeping till the 10 o'clock in the morning to the church, no. You say, I'm, I'm tired. Yesterday, I, I, I get home very late. And so I, 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 I can't, but you were able, to, you would be able to go to work if it was a day of working day. My brethren, we have to learn and look at the way we treat our relationship with God. Tonight, I want to tell you that drop, strap off your ornament. Whatsoever that make your Christian life be an accurate or inaccurate, make you an irresponsible of your soul. What do, I, what do I mean irresponsible of your soul? You are not acting diligently to save your life. I'm not insulting, please, but I'm trying to say you are not acting diligently to save your life small thing small thing can 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 cause you to lose your salvation small thing small thing can cause you to lose your salvation always i used to say when you go to prison people are there with different categories of issues with different categories of problems but one thing i want to tell you that let us determine to find means ways and means to work with god let's determine best to work with god or else my brethren, we will do so. We will just make small mistakes that will lead us out of our, our our salvation ground. But I'm telling you, whatever you do, whatsoever you do, make sure that it's for Christ's sake. 
It's for Christ's sake. If you did not take care, we will, we will blame somebody because of that. But at the time of rapture, there is no time to blame anybody. I don't think there will be time for you to blame someone. So what we ought to do is we need to stand firm. We need to calculate our life. We need to look at an area that is not helping our Christian life. Francis Kumi, God bless you, man of God. All of you, you are all welcome. For I have received an certain messages that is very complicated of the revelations of many women of God and men of God, and many people are getting revelation of the rapture, and many of them could not go. Some also go and were returned back for a purpose of small issues. I'm telling you what has happened. I send a man of God message, the man of God says, Sir, uh, this is very critical. I just got a revelation and a rapture had been taking place. And when uh, I went up, I was returning. I was returned back, you know, going to heaven and departed back on earth here, you know. Just small issue, small issue. Means of not informing someone that, guy, you gotta get ready. Please, I'm informing you, prepare yourself. If I go and God asks me to come back and tell you, I'm already telling you. If you also want to tell somebody, please send this message to that person. Whomsoever that you know, God might send you, because God sent him back to his friend and say, why you didn't tell your friend that rapture is taking place? And he said, ah, well, this is not the time to tell my friend. Then it's okay. You gotta go back and tell him. Come on. What if I saw I could do heaven? Nasa <laughs> Please, The way people are seeing rapture within this December, December and January, and we are not up to ending of this January. People that have got a revelation about the, the, the scripture. I'm afraid of myself. I'm always watching what will happen because if I didn't go, I, 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 fact, it will double. It will be trouble. My brother, determine. Determine and take off your ornament. Whatsoever that might not help you. Whatsoever that you are working for 16 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, and you, are, you don't have just how many hours do we spend in the church? How many hours? Not up to five hours. And we are giving excuse. We work with all our strength for someone's benefit. And for our own salvation aspect, we still have excuses. We, we need to work out of our salvation with fear and tremble. Small thing, small thing may weigh you down. Small thing may weigh you down. Look at scale. When you put things in the scale, when it's small, just small thing can just weigh other side down because it, you need to complete it. Please complete your salvation cup, fill your, your gap, take any ornament that does not permit you out of your life. Cosmos, I do work a man of God. Um, Daniel, and you work a man of God. All of you, you are all welcome. Please help me to share this message because we are in danger. We are walking in darker parts of life. We are in darker age of life. The way people are seeing the, I mean, the rapture at these days, in fact, is fearful. And I'm always watchful. Now, if I'm always asking myself, well, in case of it happen, what will make me fool? Because, you know, when you are so wise, what will make you fool? And those who are think, those who thought to be so wise always are, at last become fools. So I'm always examining my, myself. I'm, I'm looking around every area, anything that will not permit me to go to heaven. I'm ready to make sure to fulfill my calling and to do best as I can to save my life. And I, I don't want anybody to become a problem to me because somebody has got a revelation of a rapture and God said, go and call someone. Therefore, he's supposed to let the person know that it can take place. Please, if God asks me to come and call you, I've already told you. 
Rapture can take place at any time. Put off your ornament, any kind of ornament that might not permit you or might not help you to reach your goal. Let's quickly turn to Exodus chapter 33, also from, from 3 to 3 to 6, as we read, unto, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art stiff-necked people, let I consume thee in the way. And when the people hear this evil tendon, they mourn the moment no uh, no man did put on his ornament. For the Lord have said unto Moses, saying unto the children of Israel, Ye are stiff necked people, I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Therefore, no man, no, therefore, now put off the ornament from thee, that I may know that I do, uh, I may know that to do unto thee. And the children of Israel strap themselves of their ornament by the movement of Martin Herod. Amen. Frank, are you welcome? You are welcome, Kofi. You are all welcome. God bless all of you and help me to share this message as our Augustine. God bless all of you. Now, Bible says, when they did so, and God sent message to them and said, "Look, I'm coming to consume you because you are the you you, you are you, you, you are you are stiff-necked people. You are ungrateful. Look at all what I've done for you. How I have protected you. How I have delivered thee." And you did not even see Moses, not me. Not, you did not see Moses for just a few days. You are making a god. You take all your ornaments. You couldn't take your ornaments and offer it to God. You rather take your, took your ornament and make God for yourself. I'm coming to clear you up so that I'll know how to do lesson. Take up the ornament and let me see how uh, I, I, I will take a uh, decision on this issue. And Bible said they, they cry. And no man put on his ornament. No man put on his ornament. No woman put on his ornament. So they went to Mount Herod and cried before the Lord. And because they don't know what to do, they don't know what they have to do. One thing is you are a human being. You might do in a mistake. But remember how God has worked with you in, in, in your lifetime. Maybe you have been in desert and people, many people lost their life. Maybe you are across the, uh, the oceans or you are across the sea or lakes. You have been across the the Mediterranean Sea or Pacific Ocean or India Ocean or whatever, you have been passing through the sea and God has protected thee. Maybe you have been passing through so many danger zones and God has kept you. Maybe you, you, you were among the lions. That is why God has took you away from your people to protect you. Maybe since you have, maybe you have fallen in evil sicknesses, but God has healed you and protect you. But yet, when something happens, you are seeking for another idol. And here is where I want to tell you that strap of your ornament. Whatsoever that doesn't help you, Bible said, because now when they hear evil tendon, Bible says they strap up their ornament, anything that make them feel so feel so comfortable, Bible said they put them away. I don't know what makes you feel so comfortable that doesn't help you, your Christian life. Emmanuel, God bless you, wherever you are. Please, all of you help me to share this message and invite people to join me. You're all highly exalted. Tonight, I want to tell you that don't put your hope in prophecy why you are not working with God right. Because God was anointed with the children of Israel. God was anointed with the children of Israel when they seek for an idol to follow the idol back to Egypt instead of sit down and say, Aaron, what do we do? Let's pray what God would do for us so that we will not lose. But rather, they, they, they determine to find an idol instead of seek for God who delivered them, who protect them, who, who 
I mean, parted the river sea for them to cross. They never think of that, and they never thought of that. They were un, they were ungrateful to that, and so they never sit down and say, "God, thank you, you did this." So what do we do next? They're supposed to consult Aaron and say, "Aaron, Moses is not there. What do we have to do?" They rather put pressure in him that things are not taking place. Far as an idol, and God said that ornament that make you feel so proud. You know why? Bible said when they were about to go, God told Moses that. Tell these people that they should give you go for gifts, and they will give you all their golds and their diamonds and the, their jewelry and all their their sources of blessings. And they go and they give to them. So they were they were having an abundance of blessings into their life. Many there are many men that that that, that they, they they don't care about the Christianity. They don't care about the salvation. They don't care about anything. All what they care is. I'm, I'm living right. I have my paper in Europe. I have my my, my, my passport in America. I, 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 I'm living with my wife and my children. Yeah, uh, that is no wrong thing. That is that is normal. It's good. Uh, we thank God for that. But at the end of the day, how are you going to work with God? And so th there are people that put their children, their family into the car, drop them in front of the car, and go back home and sleep. It's disrespect to God. Please, I'm encouraging brethren and sisters, we have to look how best that we can serve God because of their honor, man. They were proud of their honor man, because they have got, look at, imagine a slave would have got, would have become a rich person. They never think back. They never look back. You find welcome. You are welcome. God bless you wherever you are. Feel you are welcome. God bless you wherever you are. Now, what am I trying to say? The case is they needed someone to instruct them. They rather go and instruct Moses that Moses, you have to do this, you have to do that, that Aaron, you have to do that. But when the case came, thank be to God that they come down and that then they humble themselves and they quickly, I mean, go before God and ask God and put on their ornament outside from there. But many of us, we are in the Lord. Many of us. We are with God. Many of us, we are Christian, but we still maintain our indignity way of life and improper attitude in our life. But one thing is, even people look at our way of life and believe in God and give their life to God. It's one of the evangelism. But we do things without considering uh, about our religion. We do things without considering the Christ. We do things for our own selfish ambitiousness. No, we have to be very careful. Rapture can take place and because of one thing, God said, take off your ornament and then put it off from you. Let me look at what I will do. My brethren, Bible said, if we, if we, if we, I mean, confess our sin and neglect mean putting stop to doing and regret of our sins and, and, and we come to God, he will forgive us. But that does not mean we do it and repeat it. It's also disrespect to God. I'm encouraging you, my brethren, God is ready to come, but God is not ready to go with you with different kind of ornament, what does not please God, what does not, I mean, considering as part of God rules or part of God, I mean, movement. So, my brethren, we need our commitment with God is not so accurate. We need to walk with God accurately, think with think the way God is, and I mean, exalt Him in our life and make a better provision for our souls. For God said, I'm coming to consume them. And God is coming to consume the whole earth here, the whole world with a fire. Bible said He will come with a fire, and heaven will rule like garment, and the earth will melt up away. Where will you be? Where will you keep your house? Where will you keep your car? Where will be your garage? How are you going to manage your life in the fire? So I want to tell you, my brethren, whatsoever you are doing, don't think of today, think of tomorrow. Save, keep your, your soul in safe. Strap off your ornament. Come down and humble yourself. And then let God see your heart. Spread your hands to God and lift your soul unto God. This is the time of salvation. This is the time that you need to rededicate your life to God because God don't want to see them with their sources. God wants to see them with, the, with, 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 with their heart, broken hearts. They, and they break their heart and cry and moan to God. Today I'm telling you that God is not happy with you because of your way of life. God is not happy with you because of your way of thinking. God is not happy with you because of the way you do things. God is not happy with you because, listen, when you go to the book of John chapter 1 verse, 
Testament says there is a man was sent by God whose name was John the Baptist. And John the Baptist is a, a person that his mother and father conceived and delivered him now as, as you are. But let him tell you, God, Bible said, God sent him. And so God has sent you. You don't know why you are at here. You never find out why you are at here. You never ask yourself, what am I doing? Whom I am on earth here? My brethren, you need to take a new decision. You need to take a new decision from today onwards. Rapture may take place maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Nobody's know when. We need to prepare ourselves. We need to, I'm not talking the actual rapture, but I'm talking of preparation to qualify because it's like you are going to board flight and if you don't have ticket. Don't think your diplomatic passport can allow you to board flight without ticket. Don't think you have Europe passport so you can go to flight that I'm going to Europe and they will, give, they will allow you. The airlines don't know any passport. They depend on the, on first of all, on the ticket. And so if you did not buy your ticket, don't think you can board the flight. Even if there is war, if there is war, no flight will take you without ticket. Even it has been chaptered, there must be a list of people that is going to enter the flight before the pilot will allow. The pilot will not allow the flight to take over, uh, I mean, uh, overload and, and, and lose his own life. And so God will not destroy his dignity or his glory because of your sin. Who are you? I want to tell you whether you are prophet, whether you are pastor, whether you are poor or rich. God is not after all these cases, but he, he, he is after those who will humble themselves Please, tonight, I'm encouraging you that all of you, I'm praying to God that may you strap of your ornament. Whatsoever that make you so happy, whatsoever that be, uh, I mean, I, I addicted, how, how you feel so, so, so proud in you. You have to look at it that is this a way of pleasing God? I'm not saying don't enjoy your life. You enjoy your life, I mean, in Christ, in God. I mean, you feel good in God, in Christ. Walk with God and, and make life so easier for your soul, for yourself. Welcome, William Bright. God bless you, man of God. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord. Please help me to share the message. We need our salvation is very, very important. Our soul is very, very important. So we need to take means or stand for our soul. We need to step up for our soul because many of our salvation is not for sure. It doesn't matter why, how long or what you have gone through. But I want to tell you that Bible says, when we were yet sinners, Christ loved us. And so when we were yet sinners, he loved us. So when you come to him, I don't know why, I, I, I don't know why people are still holding on matter against themselves. You need to free your heart and you need to start new afresh. What am I trying to mean? They strap up their, their ornaments and put it aside and, and, and stand for God and, and step up for God and strengthen themselves. They, they, they build the relationship, the bridge of love between them and God by obeying themselves, humble themselves and cry to God. Tonight, I want to tell you that you need to build the bridge of salvation, the bridge of love, the bridge of relationship with God, the bridge of love of God upon your life have been broken and God is anointed of you. I mean, scripture have, have, have said so that he will come and separate people, go from sheep, and where will you be? My brethren, I'm encouraging you, my brothers and sisters, we need to strap up your, your ornaments, and you need to give up, or else you'll be making a big mistake when you might not know when Christ is coming. You don't know when God is coming, but I want to tell you that, my brothers, whatever you are, my sisters, you need to take a decision tonight. I'm speaking with you as a servant whom have been sending unto thee. I know you are a child of God. We are all children of God. But the message has come that as you share with you, that the scripture will not fail. Therefore, the word of God is going to continue. But one thing that is painful is... One thing I want you to understand is, this is the time that you need to take decision. This is the time that you need to make amendment. Maybe you are not agree with somebody in the church. Maybe you are not agree with somebody at home. Maybe you dislike someone. Maybe you host some rituals. Maybe you host something that is different. Maybe you are in a certain business that don't please God. But one thing you need to do is make amendment in your way. Drop up the business. 
drop a girlfriend and boyfriend and marry. Make a correction. Make a correction in your life. Turn your way of life. Tonight, I wish you would lift your soul unto God and say, oh, Almighty God, unto thee I lifted my soul. <coughs> Help me. For it's not by our strength, not by our power, by the power of God. And God, Jesus Christ, came to save our life. Jesus don't want any soul to lost. But the painful thing is many are called, but few are chosen. And imagine if you have been called and you did not choose. What thing is many people are working hard in Christ, but small article will beat them down. Small article will beat them down. Please, you need to arise. Step up, step up for your Christian race, for your Christian life. This is the time that everyone must judge himself, consider himself. If rapture takes place right now, am I going or not? Because the revelation dreams that I'm getting from diverse places, that man of God, look at what I've seen. Man of God, look at what I see. Pastor, look at prophet, look at what I'm seeing. There are so many. I don't know if God is coming this generally, or I don't know maybe end of this year. I, I'm not predicting because Jesus himself said he don't know when it's taking place, only the Father. But I'm trying to advise you, and I take also advice and the thought of myself, because my spirit is not at rest at all. When somebody tells me, man of God, I go, but they ask me to go. God asked me to go and inform somebody, and, and I come back to call the person. And, and I was calling the person, and, and as in case of you come back to call somebody, and the rapture have take place, finish, what are you going to do? Welcome, right, uh, Rich. Welcome, um, Prophet. You are welcome also. Uh, Prisla, um, Prisla, welcome. You are welcome. Most welcome. Uh, Agnes, you are all welcome in the Lord. Please try to share this message because this week, and somebody have got a revelation in the rapture, have been sending him back on earth here. Please, we have to be very careful. Maybe you think you are Christian. Maybe you think you are doing best. But let me tell you, maybe you needed to convert your own mother. Maybe you needed to convert your own father. Maybe you needed to convert your wife. Maybe you needed to convert your friend. Maybe you needed to convert your husband. Maybe your own children. Bible said, and I know Abraham will train his children that I will bless the world through his children. Maybe your own children are not a children of salvation. They don't have salvation. Maybe you ought to do something about someone. This is the time that we need to stand and cast out every ornament that does not permit us to do the right thing. We have to put it aside. Let me give you a, a, a story on, on, on this issue. Sometimes uh, we, we let, let me give you a story that will make you laugh. I was going to find job, and I put on my T-shirt. I dressed very neat. And then somebody came and we rushed the car. So I get in the middle and then we close the door and we move. As the guy goes small, he look at the mirror and say, guy, you gotta drop down here. I said, what? He said, no, you have to drop down. I said, what is the problem? He said, the uniform you are wearing that will not permit you to do the work you are going to do. Come on, my brother. <laughs> imagine, imagine somebody that is seeking for work throughout the week. You haven't get one. And that day you have just got work and it dropped down because your uniform is not, uh, will, will not permit you to do what you ought to do. Not, I will, not that I'm not strong. Not that I'm too small. <laughs> not that even he never knew me, but he looked at the, 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 the white, white I put on and they are going to do construction work. And he believed that nobody will use white, white to do construction work. Imagine, <laughs> maybe you have been overdressed. What do I mean overdressed? Maybe the way you look yourself, maybe you, are, you, you don't qualify to go to heaven because of the way you have you overlook yourself. Let's be quick, go, go to the book of uh, the book of uh, the uh, Acts chapter twelve verse eight. The book of Acts chapter twelve verse eight. And let's go and look something there. So my brother, maybe you have put on white white, but that white white is not <laughs> is not permitted to go to that place. So I want to tell you that you you need to look at what will not I mean reject your salvation. What will not cause trouble or cause commotion in terms of uh, a rapture. Benjamin, God bless you, man of God. You are all welcome. Please help me to share the program. I'm going to the book of Acts chapter 12, verse 8. And the angel said unto him, Gary thyself, and burn on the sanders. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about 
D and follow me. Cast that garment about D and follow me. Now let's look at some illustration now. I, I have helmet, right? I have the um, this thing. Helpful, right? So if I'm going to 100 meters, can I put on this and run 100 meters? It will not help me. Yes, I can go, but it will not help me. If I'm, if I'm ready to compete according to the rules, they may permit me to put on, but I, it will not help me to go the way I have to go. And so Bible says, when the angel go to, go to the, the servant of God, and he said, oh, now cast out your garment, put everything down, put on your sandals, and drop other things, and let's go. Because they, they are in haste. They, they have to go faster. They have to leave the place in a way that will not cause trouble. Even though he's an angel that is coming to lead him, but he gave him a principle to walk in a, in a wise way. He did not just say, because I'm angel, I have, I have power over the souls. And then he just said, let's go. And then you'll be hitting, the, your, 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 your garment will be hitting on things and the things will be making noise. No. He said, drop up. And Bible said, he obeyed. He, he, he threw the garment and threw everything and put on his sandals. Why put on your sandals? So that you will not step on something that will pin your, 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 your foot. And so what we ought to do, my brethren, is time for you to cast out your garment. The word is in his. Our soul is in his to go to heaven. Rapture is in his running toward us. We are meeting Christ very soon. And so I want to tell you that you need to cast out your garment whatsoever that make you feel comforted that doesn't help your Christian life. This is the time that you need to sit down. This is the time that you need to analyze. This is the time that you need to look what up examine yourself in which area that you are not doing good in your christian life what what is holding you back that will not permit you to go what may block you from a, a movement of rapture because the rapture is on the trigger of eye and that a movement everything must be correct and perfect and so that time will, there will be no chance for an excuse there will be no chance for question and answer because there is no even anyone there to, to talk with you or dis, to discuss with you 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 you, the, you may not have a chance to, to 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 give an excuse and so this is the time that my brethren we need to take a decision this moment because the angel came I say, cast out your garment, just put on your sandal. That is all, because we are going. And so in time of rapture, you can't take up your car, you can't take your car key. Neither you, you, you can take even your house key. Whatever you have has become meaningless, and you have lost everything, because everything is gone, and your soul is going to continue somewhere. Your spirit is going to continue somewhere. Your life is going to continue somewhere. And so, my brother, if you did not put up and drop up things, it will be hardly for you. It's like you are making transit somewhere. Where many people will have gained salvation and we lost it. We don't know because, like, we are going to board flight and the transit hall that we are, we are announcing there is an announcement and you refuse to go and board the flight. When the flight takes off, you have lost everything because they have taken up the, the, the boarding pass and you are, you are just, just to enter the flight and you, 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 you did not go. What makes you did not go? It's like you have bought out your flight and you have booked everything and at the time to read the effort, you did not go. You have lost the, the, the flight. You need to buy it again. Let them tell you, life is not the way we think of. Drop off whatsoever that doesn't permit you. Whatsoever that don't help your Christian life. Whatsoever that you hold on that doesn't help your Christian life, drop it. Take a decision tonight. Rapture may take place today. Rapture may take place tomorrow. Look, rapture don't care for your poverty. Rapture don't care for your sicknesses. Rapture don't care for the mirror Rapture don't care. Let him tell you some president will go to heaven. Some prime ministers will go to heaven. Some custom officers will go to heaven. Some police officers will go to heaven. Some poor people will go to hell. Based on your preparation, your decision making. Based on your decision making. Based on your decision making. You are welcome. My sister Esther, you are welcome. Evans, God bless all of you. You are all welcome. Help me to share this message. Many people don't like salvation and message because all what we see is immediately I mention your name, I tell you the secret, and I, I tell you the prophecy. But all this one will come to an end one day. One day, please. This is the time for many people are getting the revelation. 
that the rapture is taking place. A rapture have taken place. A rapture have taken place. And many people also have a testimony that I have returned back. They sent me back. I was not allowed to enter. It is because they asked me to go and do this. It is because so I tell you, if God tell me to come and tell you, my brother, that is why sometimes I, I struggle all my best to make sure to share the word of God with you. Not that I want to gain popularity. I, I, it's my responsibility to share the word of God with any means that I can, in any means that I can. You don't know my situation. You don't know my condition. You don't know where I am. You don't know how I manage life. But it is my responsibility. Maybe you have privilege to do better than I do. Please do it or else you may fall in victim. I'm not preaching the gospel uh, 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 in the media just because I want people to know me or just because I want to gain popularity, no. But one thing is I'm, I, 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 it's my responsibility to preach the gospel in any means, in any how. I have been in prison preaching and gospel. I have been in desert preaching and gospel. I have been on sea preaching and gospel. I have been in so many crooked places, but yet I preach the gospel. I do best as I can because if God come and you say you are in prison, I, I did not commit any crime, but I was arrested in foreign land as an illegal and we, we sent to a prison yard to keep out for some time and deport us. And all of, no matter how it happens, I have to preach the gospel. And so, however, whatever, nothing should stop your Christian life. That is why I'm saying we need to relate to God. God needs a friend. God needs a friend, not a seeker help, uh, I mean, seeking help people. It doesn't matter you are poor or rich. God needs your relationship. Christianity is all about your relationship with God, having good relationship with God, not begging God every day, worshiping Him, giving Him glory, and relate with Him. Walk, but we say, Enoch walk with God, and the man see Him no more. He took God as his friend. Abraham took God as his friend. Elijah walked with God as, I mean, as, as master and, and, and become a friend to God. Elijah, what are, what are thou going? So, sir, but God, please, sir, you know what has happened. So, who told you? So? I have gathered many money in thousands somewhere. So, don't worry yourself. Then what do I have to do? You know, we need to have personal relationship with God. We, we need to strengthen, build the bridge of, bridge of relationship. Bible said, if a friend, Jesus, give this parable for us to learn that we need to create a relationship space between we and God. It is because we, when we don't have friendship, relation, friendly, we are not friend, friends to God. We are, we, we are just mixing chances. Because Bible says, if, if somebody come and knock a door that I have a, a, a visitor and I need something, it is because of the friendship that you have with that person. The person will, will wake up and give you something because of the friendship. And so sometimes be friend with God, permit your sources, permit, I mean, your protection, permit, I mean, your, your, your superiority and, 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 and bring the, the quality of, of blessings into your life. And your relationship with God is, is strong and right. Your salvation is sure. But many people don't have relationship with God. All what we do is, God, I beg you from 24 hours. Since we, you was born, you have been begging God, please stop. Stop. I'm not saying don't pray to God. You pray to God, but build your relationship with God because the people that worship idols have relationship with their idols by believing and have faith. And Bible says God exists. And if someone comes to God, he must believe God exists and his spirit. And so why we not believe in working with God, into having a relationship and having good intimate I mean, relationship with God. We need to be a friend to God. For God called Abraham his friend and you are also an Abraham. You can be a friend of God. Take God as your friend. Take God as your friend. Make God your friend. Not every day asking something, but worship him from your, from your heart. I mean, my sister, blessing, God bless you. Uh, you are welcome. All of you, you are welcome. Please help me to also invite the people as you can share as best as you can. Let's do best. I mean, to, to, constru to construct the, the relationship with God. Um, Nana, Nana boy, God bless all of you. Please, you are all welcome. Help me to share the program. It's very, very important. Our relationship with God is public. And so you need to drop, drop your ornaments. Your ornaments can be a friend. There are some friends that if you want to be a true Christian, you need to go out from them for the meantime. 
there are some relationship that we have with some people if you want to be a true christian you need to drop it god there are some friends that whenever you are going to church it's where they have the program there are so many people when you call them i will, I will, I will come to church I, I i want to start church i want to start coming to church and i, I don't want to leave um mixing church but once you know a friend have called me that we, we have to meet so and so you know there is a friend we have to go i have been invited to and all sort of invitation have brought so many people not to be a true christian but remember a day is coming that you'll be guilty on wasting time of your christian life here is where i'm encouraging you that you need to drop off your ornament you need to do everything because god wants somebody that is faster and running quickly and so that is why he tell peter drop off throw up your garment and rush let's go and Bible said, take up your, put on your shoe and throw the garment and let's go quickly. And so you need to be very fast or as rapture can take place from today, even tonight. And you might not go because your decision is not complete, is not complete and is not yet for sure. I want you to make sure preparing yourself and determine of your salvation life. I tell you, many people are taking as giving excuse of unnecessary matter. Life belongs to thee and is at your hand you take decision and make obedient to that it's very very important let's quickly turn our bible to genesis 35 last time we read there genesis 35 from 1 to 14 but i will not read all i just want you to go through this this particular point and it will help your christian life sometimes there are some things that take place in our life that we just take it as just like that and let's see what happened into jacob genesis chapter 35 i read from one going down and i'll just summarize some some places that but you just write genesis chapter 35 1 to 14 you go home later you go through and you see what happens there also and god said unto jacob arise give, uh, go up to Bethel and dwell there and make thee an altar unto god and and unto god that uh, appear unto thee when thou fill from the face of the, the brother. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods. Put away the strange gods. Apart from God, what is the next thing that you trust, that you believe, that you depend, that you hope? That is your gods. Some people say, ask for Europe. My, uh, my, my God is my work. Who? Oh. May God have mercy on us. And as for, yeah, for me, my business is my, my, my God. And I, I, I depend on this, please. I'm not, I'm not against it, but then don't make it your, 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 your final, your final point. You need to look up to your God. Don't make something freeze the asset of your salvation. How can somebody make your, your, somebody say, I ask for you, if you can and you get me by, you are God. Come on. What of the citizens? What of citizens? Are they God? <coughs> and making Hebrew passport or American passport or the, the residence as your God, that when you get it, is your God. Oh, my brethren, it's just a permission. It's just a permission. And then he tell them this. We have to be very, very careful on things that we depend on that are among you and be clean and change your garment be clean change your garment making a right decision and change the way of your life making a right decision and change the way of your life making a right decision and make amendment of your life do you know something many people take distance so hard oh prophet collins you are welcome god bless you now, making uh, taking up your garment means, he said, cleanse yourself, means purify your soul. Cleanse yourself means go away from spiritual contamination. What are some of the spiritual contamination? If you have an, any idol, any sources of idol, if you have any attitude that defies you, if you have any kind of way of life that have a sources behind from somewhere, purify your soul. <coughs> purify your soul. And, and do away every area of your relationship.
relationship. That is your garment. That is your ornament. So you need to purify your soul means accepting Christ, be sure of salvation, and then do away every kind of practices and every kind of, of, of way of life. You might be addicted to drunkenness. You may be addicted to sexual, uh, I mean, ways of life. You might be addicted to anger, bearing, and so a sort of lot of things that you might be, um, I mean, a part of them. You have to try all your best to sit down and think of it and make a, a, a provision for your soul. Sometimes there are some things that you don't have power on your on yourself, but you need to ask God. He is your maker. You are, he, 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 you are a clay and he's the porter. If you give your life and call upon him, he will answer you. The wrong thing that many people are thinking, and it is very, very wrong, totally wrong. No one can be perfect before he come to God. But one thing is make a decision, right decision, and come to God, and he will transform you. Somebody say, hey, you know, I'm living with a woman. You know, I have to. Why can't you just, just sit down and conclude it as your wife? And just put the marriage into right. It's not so necessary. You spend a lot of marriage money before you become a husband and gospel and, 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 and a wife. It's not a gospel. You can just find means to, to, to put the marriage right, and then he, he she or he become your wife or husband, and that is all. My, my brethren, you cannot be righteous before Jesus. R Jesus is our righteousness. A righteousness depends on Christ. That does not mean we have to do the wrong thing. What we need to do is let's do best as uh, we can, and God will bring us to accomplishment. Somebody says, I want to stop drinking before I come to church. How can you do so? You can't. I want to stop smoking before I come to church. You can't. I want to stop dr drugs before I come to church. You can't. I'm, I'm encouraging you, whatsoever, any way of life that you are living, you need to have faith and believe in God that he will change you and make a step ahead. Without doing so, you will continue because that is the strategy of the enemy. That Satan has used this to block. So many people cannot go to church. So many people cannot have confidence in salvation. So many cannot have trust in their salvation and come to God. I want you to Take a step of bold and appear before God and say, here I am. Whether I drank, whether I do, whatever I do, I am here, oh God, save my soul. You might be a prostitute, but yet go to God and say, God, you know my situation. Help me to overcome my, my, my condemnation. Please take it away from me. God will make a provision for you. It doesn't matter how maybe you have been going to rituals and it, it, it has overtaken you. You don't know what to do. Go to God. Appear before God and say, God, you know I have been contaminated. How do I go about the issues? And God will deliver you out of your trouble. I don't know what is impossible at the side of God. With him, all things are possible. My brethren, maybe you have handkerchief. Maybe you have ring. Maybe you have some rituals, which is very hard to throw it because they have warning. If you try to throw it, you grow mad or you die prematurely, painfully. I tell you, Satan is a is liar. Satan cannot do anything. Believe in God. Go to the man of God. Go to a prophet. Go to the I mean, man of God that you believe. You can also call me by WhatsApp or you can call me and I pray with you and through it. This is not my first. I've been doing this so many times and I've been taking rituals out of people and take it away and they're free. I want to tell you that God has power over everything. Bible says when the people are believing in the Antioch, they came out with their books which they, they depended on using it for, for, for wicked activities. They bring them and burn all of them. So I want to tell you that whatsoever you host, you can deny it from today and give your life to Jesus Christ because rapture can take place at any moment and you may lose your soul for nothing and you are not enjoying life and you are going to hell also on top of it. What have you come on earth for? And what does it mean your life on earth here? Upon all suffering, upon all trouble, upon all sorrows, you are not going to heaven on top of it. What are we doing? Please, let's build the bridge of salvation and let's go to Christ. And let's throw away everything that is hosting us and give our life to Jesus Christ. Just surrender to him. He will save you. Samuel, God bless you, man of God. You are all welcome. Please help me to share this. This is very, very important. I, I, whether God will bless you, whether God will not bless you, whether you are married, 
whether you will not marry, whether you get uh, money, whether you will not get money, whether you build house or you will not build house, whether you buy car or you will not buy car, whatsoever that you look as a point of goal, don't make it as your final point of goal. Make it as a provision point. If there is an, a provision point. If you didn't get it, no problem. You continue. So, like my brethren, let me tell you tonight we need to drop every ornament that is posting our life and we need to give up so that we'll be able to work quickly and faster rapture will take place faster than everything and maybe you may think that you will change your mind today tomorrow and next tomorrow maybe tonight christ can come maybe you you think that you are making you are preparing yourself no time for you to prepare yourself this is the high time this is the time that you need to make a provision for your soul this is the time that you need to allow your soul you need to give a chance for your soul to win a crown of salvation to be part of god i don't know what you think now i don't know what you are planning for maybe you have dedicated your life for something that i want to build this my house before i go to church maybe i want to do this before i go to church maybe i want to do this before i start my ministry maybe i want to do this before i, I, I accept my, my, my calling look i met somebody in libya kufra for some years ago a very young boy that have been called by god and he give permission that God, he asked God permission, please God, let me have something that at least I, I, I will get my daily bread. And he travel and he make money and say, I'm going home. When he go home, he go and marry. And say, God, if I'm single, I couldn't manage life here. So please help me so that uh, my wife and my children will be, my wife will have, I mean, means that we can get our daily bread so that and God make another provision for him. While his wife started business, he traveled again and he was blocked there. And before he called his wife, the business had collapsed and he had become stranded and he meet me as a man of God. Look at the foolish thing I do. What do I have to do? Can I help such a person? Go back to your country. Tell God you have come to start it. He should have mercy on you. My brother, I don't know your target and I don't know your agenda but don't make your agenda to become your salvation. It's very, very dangerous. For many are called, but few are chosen. There are so many people that they think they are right, they are doing best. But you don't know that you have not yet accepted your calling. You have not, you have denied your calling. There are so many people that think they are pastors. They have denied their calling in their pastorship. The way you become a pastor, the kind of pastor you are. How do you, many pastors depend on their, on their mentally uh, salary. So if their, 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 their pay did not come, it seems they, they, they have trouble with God. They have trouble with the apostles. They have trouble with their national uh, I mean, uh, head. And so let me tell you, I'm not condemning that. But let our confidence serving God to be sure. My brethren, was maybe you may be a church worker, but you depend on the money you are getting. You are making mistakes. Make it at the point of your salvation is very, very important. Amen. Now, with this lesson, the Bible said, and then he called them. And he said, drop everything, drop everything. Chapter 3 said, let us, that is Genesis chapter 35, verse 3 said. And let us arise and go up to Bethel, and I will make thee an altar unto God, who, uh, who answered me in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went. And they give unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears. And Jacob hide them under the oak which were by set. Bible said they give up. They give up everything. They give their idols. Oh, man of God, Frank, God bless you. You are all welcome. Help me to share the message. Now, when Jacob called his family and said, let's go, I'm going to sacrifice to God, the God who saved me. And the so Bible said, Bible said, they all bring, they bring their strange gods and they bring all their, 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 their earring, white earring, earring, ring. I'm not saying earring is sin, but what I'm trying to say, it, it's significant your, your determination, your understanding what you hear what you understood the way you 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 have been consumed with an, a different doctrine that doesn't help your christian life 
I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is, it's an ornament that makes them put trust on themselves. And so they bring everything and Jacob hide it because they are going to God. You are going to heaven to meet God. You can meet God with sin. Rapture will not accept you with sin. And rapture cannot consider any soul that have defiled himself. And so my, my brethren, my sister, what is your God? Your God is what you are serving. And so if because of job, you can't go to church. If because of boyfriend or girlfriend, you can't go to church. If because of India, him or drugs or alcohol, you can't go to church. If because of the kind of business you are doing, you can't go to church. If because of one or other thing, you can't go to church. My brother, this is the time, my sister, this is the time to give up. The house of Jacob give up before they go to Bethel. Please, Sunday is at hand. Maybe you go to church Saturday. Maybe you go to church Sunday. That, that is not the matter. The day is not the matter. But the, 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 the dedication, recommitment that you have for God, your commitment with God, your relationship with God. Not every day you are begging God for something, but every day you are worshiping Him as your God. But every day you relate to your God, you talk with God, you please Him, you give Him glory. I mean, you you you, you get intimate relationship with God. You read the Word of God. I mean, you enjoy the, the precious in Christ, the precious in Christ than the worldly things. This is the time that, my brethren, we need to make up a decision, a right decision of salvation, a right decision of salvation. The, the prophecy is too so much for us. The prophecy is too much for us. We need a, a, a salvation decision making. Many people believe in God going to church because when you go, when you, you become a true Christian, things go well with you. Yes, it's true. But one thing is bad. One thing is, is your salvation for sure? Satan are deceiving so many people because when they themselves in the church and things go well with them because of the true connection that they have got there. They thought it is a blessing of God. You are deceiving yourself. Oh, because of church, maybe you have got an exorcist woman that is a woman of productive. And because of that, you maintain indignity way of life. Hey, my brother, your salvation is not sure. You are living in the church as an officer or as a minister. And maybe God has made a way for you. That is why you are like that. Your salvation is not for sure. Can I ask you, since you're married, have you gone after your wife or no? Have you gone after your husband or no? Since you become a Christian and you give your life to Christ, are you living right with God? Are you falling victim of different kind of attitude? We need change of attitude. We need to address our soul well. Jacob addressed his household, that brothers and sisters, wives and whomsoever that is in my house, we are going to God. Where is your children? Your children go to this school. Why you go to church? And my son is going to play football. I'm not saying it's not good. And my son is, is, is in his fans. I'm not saying it's not good. Would that your child go to heaven? <coughs> there are people that are also doing the same thing, but yet they go to church. Yet they go to church. There are stars that will go to heaven. There are musicians. There are film actors. There, there are footballers. There are actresses that will be going to heaven. Why you are not enjoying the life and you still go to heaven? We need to take a decision. Don't think God will look at poverty and take what God is not seeking for poor people. He's seeking of a people of dignity, a people who respect his world. God will not deny himself because of your suffering. No. Take decision that one day God is going to wipe away your tears. Don't allow someone to deceive you the way of your life. Because many people, when you get a right husband that will cater for you and your children, you just take it as chance in life. You don't care for salvation. You do whatever you want. And say, I meet some certain guy, and it's one of my friends that convinced me. And it's one of my sister that convinced me. It is one of my brother that convinced me. Even that girl. I wasn't interested, but that guy that was working with me, I can please. You are responsible of your soul. 
It is someone that connected to that business. It, you are responsible of your soul. Yeah, it is some guy that convinced you for you to join that occult society. You are responsible of your soul. You are responsible of your soul. You need to act as somebody who care for his own soul, care for your souls that you have produced. And so Jacob was able to put the people under him into a right path that they must serve God, that they must give up. My brother, you need to give up. Many people might not like this kind of sin, might not take it as serious, but I have to tell you the truth. Not necessarily call your name and say, ah, Prophet so and so, or my sister so and so, brother so and so, this is going to happen. It's not salvation. It's not salvation. Whether people die or they did not die, it's not salvation. Salvation is half confidence, trust in God, walking with God. A point of salvation is to walk with God, <coughs> living with God, address your soul to God, let your household know God, and let everything of you know God. But if you tell me some people, they push their children and their wives to go to church and then themselves don't care. They live and make their way the way they want it. My brother, one day you are going to appear before God and that is going to make your life so critical because what makes you send your children and your wife to church and you yourself come back home? What caused that and what is the meaning of that? Do you respect God or you disrespect God? What makes you, I mean, living the way you want? I want to encourage you, brethren and sisters, that please, we need to make a provision for our soul. We need to take a decision for our soul. Let's go to the first, uh, let's go to Colossians 3, 5 to 8. The book of Colossians 3, chapter 3, from 5 to 8. Mortify therefore your members which are upon <coughs> the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, in in right net, also affection, evil conspiracy, and covetousness, evil uh -huh, and covetousness, which is adultery, for which things seek the wrath of God come on the children of disobedience. Which things come the wrath of God of disobedience. My brethren, our attitude is bringing the wrath of God upon us. Why? If we call ourselves Christians, and if we host Bible, and we maintain wrong attitude, this significant so many things in our life that we need change. This shows how we ought to go with God. Please, I'm telling you that we need to make a change in our life. Our practical attitude, the, our behaviors must change. Bible said that caused the wrath of God because somebody, let me tell you something. Bible is talking of fornication, fornication, fornication. No, you know something. Bible said run from fornication by Christian, don't respect it. I meet, let him give you a testimony of sinful man of God. I meet on a certain lady that is so, so bad and he's so rough also. And I was discussing with her, but then I was very small. And I was advising her to calm down because this is the time that she have to get a partner. But she's pretty rough in the town and she don't know I know her to that extent. And he said, sir, you know what happened? He began to tell me her, her story. Because when he found this brother, so, so, and so, so, and so, that is very prayerful, he would try to near that person to help her in prayer. At the end of the day, the person will convince her that, okay, let me study you if you are okay. Then I see the way. Uh, and at the end of the day, the person will take advantage. And so almost, almost people that he go close with, they are all trying to take advantage of her. So at the end of the day, she found out that there is no any right person. So that, that is not helping her Christian life. Oh, pastor, prayer leaders, ministers, we call ourselves men of God. 
but we take advantage of many women and put bad names on them that hey they are very dangerous they are very bad they possess if you did not open your mouth and tell a woman that you love her you like her you want to marry her and deceive her can a woman cut you and naked you and and lie on you and sleep with you my brethren we can take advantage of puppets we can take our advantage of our position in the church we can take advantage of our personality but let him tell you one thing all this is bringing a wrath of god because this lady need not a husband for the meantime he needs somebody that will help her to be able to at least achieve how to read bible at least I, I, I help her to start a prayer life but everybody she go close with take advantage of her and she have the bad name on every, than everybody in the church and this is bringing the wrath of god upon the ministers upon the guys who is deceiving her because they found out that at this time she need a husband because she's growing up she need husband and so everybody that looks so handsome or anybody that is so influenced go close to her and take advantage of i mean relating with her and at the end of the day when he, find, he look up to somebody the most painful thing that god don't want it when somebody look up to you as somebody that by you she can stand or he can stand and you take evil advantage <laughs> many people take a business advantage on people and rob people for the sake of christ take advantage of christ bible said this is coming bringing the wrath of god upon men and so whatsoever you are taking advantage in the gospel be careful taking advantage of popularity go and take rituals and do miracle to, to 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 save souls for who those saves are souls are saved but you yourself are you saved with the rituals of ministering with people with that please this is the time that i think we need to take a decision and go out from all this kind of filthiness we need to take a decision and bring our conclusion it is not we might it must it may be it it, it it may look like god did not i mean help us holy spirit is there for 24 hours there to help me and you this is the time that me and you need to take a decision that the holy spirit is there to lead us to guide us and to to help us in everything but we don't give a them to holy spirit we don't give a them to god all what we do we seek and we do what we want let's quickly turn to a, a philippians chapter 3 verse 7. The book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 7 and 8. But what thing we gain, we gain to me. Those I count lose for Christ. Yeah, doubtless. And I count all things about loss. I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered, I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dung that I may win Christ, that I may win Christ. My brother, my sisters, we need to, anything that you ought to do to win Christ, you must do you must count previous chances and the advantage that you have if it doesn't please god count it lost don't take that advantage you may have a privilege you may have an, a chance you may you, you may gain an, a chance or you may gain something and that might not help your christian life count it lost go away <laughs> from it don't accept not every offer that is offered no satan give offer to, to to jesus three times do this do this do that bible said bible said don't allow satan to deceive you with scripture we have to be very careful for satan is an a, 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 a very dangerous so we have to be very very careful the way we do things so we we have to examine every step and every movement that we do every step that we make we need to make an a, 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 examine it and check it point 
conclude it. Look at it very well. Or else you will take some advantage what does not help your Christian life and what will never help your Christian life. What I'm trying to say is this is the time that you need to cross-check your way of life. I repeat, this is the time that you need to do what? Cross-check your way of life. Or as my brethren, we may consider so many chances and so many privileges that we have and thinking we are doing well. But at the end of the day, it brings the wrath of God. What causes annoying to God is when we know the right thing and we take advantage and do the wrong thing, saying that I will come and confess. The Bible says if you know the truth and you sin intentionally, there is no forgiveness. But left with fearful judgment waiting for thee. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe Christ may come. And I remind you that even though if rapture did not come and you die, remember that at the graveyard you are going to meet and another source is there. But if you go to the book of Isaiah, he said they will all come out and meet you. He said, have you become like us? You did not listen. You have just become like us. And Bible said the garment of worms are there. And they will tell you, look at your sleeping place. And you will be covered with worms of garment. And the worms will devour your body. The Bible says you, 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 they will devour your body like, 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 like a, a, a soil. And so you mix up with soil by force. Why? You, have, you are just feeling the pains of worms that is passing through your body. And, and they will devour your body. So even in the grief, there is a problem. If not God, Jesus, you have not said there was an Lazarus, a man, who, a poor man, who 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 dead and found himself in do you think jesus was just telling sweet words no he's telling you to understand that even immediately after death there is an especial punishment what if you are not qualified to go to heaven and so whatever you do you are going to face an judgment in the grief and that is why many people are weak in the grief imagine you have a week inside the you, you are grief how are you going to feel and how are you going to suffer bible said there is an, a slash of reminder every morning that your body has become like 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 like, like a boil and, and then they they, they, they they give you lashes on it imagine how are you going to feel pain even if not Rapture, please save your soul from the wrath of God. There's going to be a torture immediately after death. And so let's quickly turn to the book of Ephesians chapter 4, 22. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. Way down. That you put off concerning the former conversation, that old man, that old man, put on the Bible, said, when wine come in Christ, old thing has passed. You have become a, a new creature. So I always said, if you have some, you have sheep, and one time one of the, the goat just beginning to catch them and eat them, how are you going to consider that, that good? Is it a dog or do, goat? Mind yourself, my brother. Maybe you are, you, are, you are just like that in the house of God. You are destroying souls. And so he said, we have to be very, very careful of our former way of life. When we call ourselves Christians, when we convert, we have to ignorant any relationship that leads us back to the old root. But normally we don't close the door of, for, uh, of former relationship. We maintain it and that leads us back to the wrong root. Please, we have to be very careful. That you put up the concerning the former conversation, the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitfulness lost, which is corrupt. So any lust that you have, when you talk of lust, not only sexually. Some people commit crime, just they need some certain type of car. So whatever they will do to get that car, they will do. It's a lust. Some people, when they see somebody riding a certain car, and they, they ah, even mean that, ah, look at this guy. Or let that person even rather than this guy. Ah, look at this guy. I have big, big business than him. So when you desire someone something, it's a loss. You can kill that person and take it. You you do all best as you want, you have to do. And so when you talk of loss, it's not only <coughs> sexually, it's 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 when you are involved something of someone. We have to be very careful. Somebody can see a certain house and say, no, I have to build a kind of house before, uh, before I, I do whatever I will do. And he take any means, any means. 
So a minister will go to some church and say, ah, even this guy has get this guy, build this kind of ministry. Wow, I would do best. I would do whatever I would do. Ah, even he don't do anything. He cannot even read well. His grammar is not even good. He, he don't have anointing. Look at the ah, no. Then you begin to run up and down to find means to build a ministry than him. <coughs> Mind your calling. Ask God what to do. We don't have to envy people ministry. We don't have to envy people houses. We don't have to envy people pro pro projects. And that is one of the anointing that God want, don't want to know that you envy someone's project. Some, you are better than somebody at least. Respect whom you are and accept it and praise God for that and do best as you can. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Renew the spirit of your mind. I mean, get a new focus in your life. Get a new focus in your life. My brethren and my sisters, I want to tell you that it's very, very important that you get a new focus in your lifestyle. Many people don't have a new focus. All what we do is we just doing whatever we are doing, maintaining doing wrong things. But it's said, get a new focus in your life. That's and that he put on the new man, which is after God, is created in righteousness and truth, true holiness. Put on Christ in righteousness and true holiness. True holiness means your yes is yes. You have concluded your decision of living right with God. Your righteousness depends on Christ, meaning having confidence in Christ that when Jesus comes, you are part of Christ's kingdom. You are not just part of Christianity, but you are part of Christian domship. Many people don't have time for God. Many people don't care about God. Many people don't care about their Christian life. All what we do is we do our best as we do to gain what we want to gain. But the Bible says if we gain the whole world and we lost our soul, what have you gained? What have we gained? It's time for me and you to make a change of mind. We need change of our decision making. We need to arise in the spirit. We need to make a move in our soul. Whatsoever that we are going through, let's, take, let's consider our soul and let's examine our way of life. If that please God, I will show off our salvation tonight. Please drop your ornament. Whatsoever garment, whatsoever that wages you down. This is the time that, my brother, this is the time that you need to put things down. This is the time that we need to bring things to an end. This is the time that we need to stop doing some things. This is the time that we need to change the way of our life. Verse 24 coming down, uh, verse 20, verse 24 coming down to uh, 31. You go home and you write it down and then you, you, you read it. And so this is the time that, my brethren, we need to change the way of our life. We need to redeem the time because when you accept Jesus Christ, something new takes place in your life. But one thing is we need to forgive. We need to accept Christ and live in a Christian way that will please God. This is the time that we need to make a changes in our life. We need to make a changes in our environment. We need to make a changes in, in our relationship. We need to make a changes in every aspect in our life. We must to start new afresh with God. We have just started the year. This is the time that you need to start and work with God. You can work with God with your old garment. You work with God with your new garment, which you have prepared for thee. Bible says when they bring Jesus from the prison, they took off the old garment. They washed him and cleansed him. And they put him a new garment that is presentable for him to present himself before his master. And so I want to tell you that my brother, my sister, it's not too late. We can take decisions from today onwards. And then we can start new with God. Then we can take a new look. We can, we can take decisions from now onwards. Because if you are not sure of salvation, my brethren, we have to be very careful. For many Christians are not sure of salvation. We just believe that we are Christians. And what we are doing doesn't help Christian life at all. Let me conclude this message from Romans chapter 1, verse 29, going down. Romans chapter 1, verse 29, going down. <clears throat> and before then, let me uh, put on chip on something. Something 19 
and nineteen coming down. Let me chip on something then. That is uh, Romans chapter one from nineteen going down. And at confident that thou thyself are guilt of bland and light of them which are in darkness and instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babies which has the form of knowledge and of the truth in the law. Thou therefore, thou therefore, which teaches another, teaches thou not thyself. You that is teaching people, telling people the truth, inviting people to come to church, you are the same person that is doing wrong thing. We have to mind our way of life. We have to mind the way of our life. We have to be very, very careful. We have to learn how to present ourselves before the people. Or else we will continue to do mistakes and people will be looking up to us and people will be, will be disappointed of us. For Christ's sake, whatsoever you are doing, look at for Christ's sake so that you will not condemn yourself. Twenty-two. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, do thou commit adultery? Thou that uphold idols, do thou commit? I mean, such a commit series. <coughs> thou that make the the beast of the law. Through bring the law demolished. I read verse 20. Sorry. I read down from 29. But he is a Jew, which is. Oh, sorry. I'm going to wrong, please. Oh, sorry, please. I've gone to wrong place, sorry. Let's, let, let me read back from here also. That is verse 29, let me just come down. He said, being, <coughs> sorry, viewers, for, I went to at verse two, instead of verse one. And even as they did not, did not like to, retain God in their knowledge, God give them unto a repubrate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, Medrin, deb, debit, deceit, malignant. I can put on the light. Okay, okay. Now I think it's okay now. Tw verse thirty. But light, hate of God, this despiteful, proud boasters. Inventors of sin or evil things, disobedience to parent. Look at this very, very portion, very particular portion here. Maybe you may be fall in this victim because there are so many people that they, they, they consider their way of life not so necessary as sin. We consider civilization world, and this civilization world lead us to such kind of things that people that invent sin, people that back up the sin. 31 said, without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection, impeccable, unmerciful, who know the judgment of God that they would commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pressure in them that do them. Now, here is where let me surround. Uh, uh, conclude everything to this point. 
that uh, there are people that even this thing that Bible is talking about, they don't do them. But what they do, they even give support to that. There are so many people that when you say, come and do it, you say, no, 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 ask for me, no, how can you tell me to do that? But when somebody is doing, he'll be telling you that he, he owns his her body or his body. He's talking of, uh, I mean, hatred of God. There are some people immediately beginning to talk about Christ. They will not give you a brief, a moment of grief. They will not waste time to attack you. Even though they are not Christians, or even if they might pretend to be a Christian, but we have to understand ourselves, whom we are. Before you are right to support something or say something in favor of something, you must consider, are you saying in favor of God? We have to think this message today twice. We must ask ourselves, if rapture takes place, are we part? Are we going? What will hold you back? Throw off your garment. Drop off your garment. Take up your ornament. Whatsoever that makes you look so or feel so comfortable in something that is not supporting your Christian life, something that doesn't support your prayer life, something that doesn't support your scriptural reading life, please, it's a time for us to make a change. May God Almighty give you strength and power and ability to do so. I would like the end of my message today. And I would like to ask you to do one thing for me. To send this message to whomsoever you love. As message. Send it as message to someone. That rapture is about to take place. Our way of life and our attitude and practices might not support us to be at the right place. You may do your best as you can, but you may lack of one thing and that thing will drop you we need to make sure of our salvation whatever happened however we are living we need to make sure of our salvation that is for sure every advantage that you have that doesn't help christian ways or christian life or that doesn't help to be holy or to be righteous or doesn't help you to live with god right righteously Please, make a drop and make a change. Throw up your garment, every advantage and every enjoyment. Make stop to that. Start new afresh with God. And I know for this, you will save your soul. And I believe that for this, you will go to heaven. And to go, into he to, go to heaven is the most important thing than to live a precious